you want to want to get better at anything, start practicing. Uh, you know, and the best way to do it, watch the pros. So start going, whatever your game is, whatever game you're interested in, go look up Twitch streams, go find the pros, go find the guys who are extremely good that have YouTube feeds um, that are very, very popular, and just look at their strategies. Um, also, just study the game. Every day, at least an hour in the morning and after school, I'm practicing, you know, learning tech skills. The reason I've been trying so hard and I've put so much time into it is one, I did it before and I've done it at every school that I've taught at and I've always really enjoyed it. But I'm gonna be honest, I had so much on my plate this year that initially I wasn't gonna run it. Um, I wanted something that was gonna be more like hands off if they were gonna do it. And so when the people that I, I didn't have in my class came and approached me for, for eSports, Carter and Yusuf, Dom and, uh, and Jake, they approached me as, hey, we wanna do an eSports club. And I was very, at first I was like, you know, like, okay, um, and I, I told them that the only way I'd do it is if I didn't have to do anything to start getting it set up. But their dedication, like, it just in the repeated coming and asking me and stuff, actually kind of like renewed the flame and got me more excited about it again, and because they were so excited. So honestly, I was, when I came back, I was like, eh. I was focused on football, I was gonna try that again, but those guys are really kind of like what invigorated that spirit to get esports going again, so. It was more, it was more my the team here than it was just me wanting to do it. But that fire's burning really, really bright right now. Oh, we performed very, very well. So our Fortnite team, uh, out of the five players that we brought, four of them placed in the top 25. We took first and second um, with our uh, Super Smash Brothers team. Our crew battle went all the way to the uh, semifinals and finished in third. Um, with uh, some very high individual placings in the uh, individual brackets as well. Um, our Minecraft team had a top three finish and our Rocket League team made it to round three, both of our two, uh, two groups. So overall, we were one of the most decorated teams that, uh, that participated in the weekend and we were one of the only teams that had top three performances in every single one. So overall, very, very, we did a great job at the tournament and uh, even uh, had some colleges kind of poke around and ask me some questions about a few people um, that I didn't really talk to them about because I didn't want them to get nervous or anything while they were playing, but it was very cool and an awesome experience for our guys. So as a founder, we make sure everything stays organized. A lot of times at the meets, it gets pretty chaotic. Everybody's having fun, they're yelling. We got to make sure that everybody, uh, you know, makes sure that they listen and that everybody kind of does what they're told. Um, you know, right now we're very, we're growing really fast. Uh, we just had that tournament in Arlington. That was a big deal. We, we got a lot of support there. Right now we're focusing on getting sponsors and uh, so that way we can afford better equipment, you know, to help all these people in here get noticed for their video game potential. So I say we got a bright future ahead of us. We, we need all the people we can get. My relation to my dad allowed us to see other club, other high schools, other districts. It allowed us to reach out to Team Envy and basically ask them for to support us as a local club. My relationship to my dad, uh, I, he and like all the employees at Envy are able to give me advice. It also allows me to run the event that we're going to do at the end of the year. Wednesday at 4:20, D217, see Coach Holland.